Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. I hope you all have a wonderful, fabulous, fun day full of blessings and a lot of love. I have a Dollar Tree haul. And yeah, I went in for organizational items that I needed while I was cleaning. And that is not the only thing I came out with. So Dollar Tree is my danger zone. I tend to go to the makeup aisle quite a bit. I didn't pick up too many things today in the makeup aisle, but I did pick up a few more things. And let's go ahead and show you what I got. So you all know Thanksgiving has come and gone, and now I can do Christmas shopping. So Christmas items such as this, decorations, trees, anything having to do with Christmas decorating, I truly, truly respect the tradition that I grew up with, which is nothing before Thanksgiving. And that's what I do. With the exception of a little red truck that had a Christmas tree on the back, that is the only thing that I purchased before Thanksgiving because I have been eyeing it for several years. And every time I went back after Thanksgiving, I could not find it anywhere. Well, this was the last one that they had of the little houses. I don't know if they're going to restock. But definitely going to pair up really nicely with that truck. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item in here. And this one is for my headset. And it is just one, one headset. It's for my phone to answer phone, but I do listen to music on it. And I thought this was really cute. I like the design. And it has a little pouch where I can put the charger that goes with it. Keep it all in one single place. Definitely going to be getting some use out of that. Then I picked up some alcohol prep pads. And these are for my morning testings. I do keep some on hand. They're very portable to carry around. They do come into two per pack or per little strip. Affordable. And I do go through them several times a day. So those are mine. Then I picked up, and I have picked up a few of these, but I've given them away. Um, usually the G-Babies or some of the kids in the classroom have taken them. And these are magnetic bookmarks. I absolutely love them. Keeps your pages for when you are reading. I do like them. $1.25, not a bad deal. And this I noticed when I took everything out of the bags because I did that for the sake of not only time but the chaos and the noise. These here, the nose strips, I did not put them in here but I was shopping with my daughter-in-law and I can almost guarantee she doesn't even remember she put them in the cart. Well, I need to hand them to her because I did not get them for me. Not my thing. So let's go ahead and go into things that I did see and Ioni and I do talk about Ioni a lot the lashes the glue for the lashes and I think mascara I've also used from Ioni I do like their formula for a lot of their things and I want to try the tweezers and see what the tweezers are about definitely coming back with a review for those and see if they work then I and I didn't see this. My daughter-in-law saw it and she pointed it out. Ioni, once again. And it is the Ioni Mascara. And I love the little brush that it has. Very thin brush. Those brushes, I tend to get a little bit more length out of the eyebrow or the, the eyelashes. So I am looking forward to trying this. And it is in the color purple. So... That was one of the reasons I picked it up, color purple. Then I have some Coleman mugs, and I thought these were super cute. I picked up two, and this is what they are. I have never seen them there. They're actually citronella. Will it work in the summer? I'm not sure, but I thought these were cute little mugs. I could even use them for little planters in the spring or the summer. So definitely going to be getting some use out of that. And hopefully they do work in the summer when I need them to work. 
Then I picked up several of these. And these I did, um, I had picked up quite a few to take to uh, for our Thanksgiving. I'm at a loss of words. For our Thanksgiving dinner. And we do have a Friendsgiving thing going on. And I decided I may want to bring some things home. So I'm not upset about taking my own containers to bring home with additional foods. Then I picked up additional stockings. And these I had picked up a few before. There were still a few left. And these are for our door or our wall right outside of our door at work. So those are a work item. Then I picked up this. And this I had been looking for it for a minute. I have one here or several of them here that I do uh, keep smaller uh, makeup items in here. But I wanted some for our paper clips and our push pins. Definitely going to like it. You don't have to pick a bag, open it up. It's a little drawer, pull it out, and you've got your items in there. No need to take out the whole container from the cabinet. Just open the little drawer, get what you need, close it back up. I think these are really cute. They only had one, so I'm going to continue on the lookout for more of them. Then I picked up some gloves. And these I use quite often especially when we work with food items and these are disposable but I like them so that the kids can have something although it says for scrubbing these are not as tight on the hands and I do like them for picking up food instead of picking it up with your hands so that's what those are for now we're getting into some of the organizational stuff. But before I do, I have a few more items that are not organizational. There we go. And these. I came across another one. I've gotten these and I have put them uh, in little gift baskets that I hand out to the G babies, what have you. I do like them. They're little towels. So I wanted some more. I have not been able to find them. That was the last one. Still will look for more. And then I have this little um, spiral. What were they called? It's, it's blank. It's a blank. Spirograph. A spirograph. And they're very small. Portable. And I do like these to carry around probably keep them in the car, keep the G-Babies entertained while I take them places because sometimes they do get bored and I need them entertained while I'm driving. Then I have prayer cards. I picked up a few more. I have picked up several and I do like these. I like putting these into just random, hand them out and I'm going to start putting them into my giveaways. So definitely look out for these. They're going to be there. And it's just a prayer. I will, however, ask before I place one in there. It is something that I firmly believe in. Not everybody does, but I will be respectful of that. Then I have the organizational stuff. Here we go. And my receipt, which we don't need. And I did pick up three different sets. Was it three? Yes. Three sets of two. And they are the flexible ones which I truly like. They are very very durable and I do use them a lot and some of these are actually going to be going into gift baskets that I'm going to put together for Christmas. So that's where those are going. Then I have these bins here and I do like these. I'm going to get one of them. They do stack together. They have openings on both sides. I have several of these in my cabinet uh, in the bathroom where I put all of my soaps and to extra toothbrushes, just different things that I have. I like that they stack. In one of them I have my, my towels rolled up. I like these a lot. I figured I need some more, so more organization coming up. 
And then I have four of these. And these are different. You can actually close the little tabs and it keeps from being stacked. And they just go in. But if you open up the little tabs and place it down, you can then stack these. And then you have your stackables. I like these. I like these a lot. So these are definitely going on my shelf so that I can get some of the products kind of separated so that I'm not struggling every time I'm putting together the giveaway bags. This way I have a little bit more organization and quicker for me to get the bags ready. Then I picked up some really cute ones and here they are. They are the candy canes. They're very long, as you can see. And these are to decorate right outside of the classroom. So that is where those are going. And of course I had to get some things for the bathroom. There we go. I couldn't get it back in the basket. And I picked up two of these. These I like for my bathroom. And I actually puncture a hole, put it upside down into the toilet bowl or the tank, and it smells all the time. So it dispenses as it flushes, so not all of it is coming out at the same time. There is a technique to it, but definitely worth having for $1.25. You have your tank refresher or freshener so that every flush makes your bathroom smell really nice. And I do like lemon scent, pretty much everything. So lemon scent is what it was. These are from Dollar Tree, but they are not something that I purchased that day. Because my daughter-in-law was with me, we have something going on and I am going to bring that box, but I am going to pause the video so that I can get the box. But we had an ongoing joke about these products. You know what? I'm going to hold off on that story because it's going to make more sense to you once you see what is inside of the box. Here is the box. And there are several colors, which is why I said I'm only going to pull out a few of them. Not all of them. I saw how big the box was. I did get a very strange look from the cashier because I decided I was getting the case. Yeah. I have several giveaways coming up and I thought these were going to be super cute for all of that. There are different colors and we have this one here. And the material is different on each of them. Some of them are textured, some of them are not. But I thought they were super cute. So I'm going to show you the inside of some of them because they are different. And here we go. Some of them come with a little mesh up at the top. But they are very, very roomy makeup bags. And I had the thought process of maybe filling them up with items. I do have my 700 subscriber giveaway coming up. So definitely look out for things in there. And this is what I meant by they are different. These have slots like for makeup brushes. I'm not sure if you're able to see that. Also very roomy. Different colors. Different colors. Then we have the black one. And let me see, I think there were three different designs on the inside. This is the same for the brushes. And let's see if this one is the different one, or if it may have been only two, I'm not sure. This is also for brushes. Another color. And let's take a look at this one here. Also for brushes. 
So, so far only one had the mesh pocket. And now I'm determined to find out if that is going to be the case for all of them. Here is a black one that has the mesh. So there are several of them in there with the mesh. But I thought $1.25 each. That is what they are. $1.25. Some of them will be going into the giveaway or giveaways. But some of these I'm actually going to fill with different um, things that I have and hand them out for Christmas. So a lot of people are going to be getting makeup bags because I decided to buy the case. When I went up to the register, the cashier looked at us because my daughter-in-law told me, you sure you're taking the box? And I said, I'm taking the box. We were, we were going to have to open it because it wasn't open. They only had one or one or two bags outside of this box. They had not taken everything out completely. So I just said, you know what? Put it in. I'm taking the case. So when we put it on the band, um, the belt to pay, she kind of looked at the bag and she says, um, are you taking the box? And I said, it's the case and there are things in it and I'm taking the whole case. You're welcome to open it. We have not opened it. It still has the tape. So she did. She opened it up, saw that it was the 12 scandum and we were good to go. But the look, the look that she gave me, you're taking a full case. And I told her Christmas is coming along and I have other things that I can gift. So they're going to serve their purpose. Because of the, the whole deal that my daughter-in-law, are you sure you're taking the box? She's, I don't think anybody has ever bought a case of anything. And I kind of gave her the side I like. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> this is the product. These. And this says that it is a dupe for comparable. Not a dupe. It says compared to the Sunbum hair product. Uh, hair conditioner. The scent. The scent is almost identical to the Sunbum hair conditioner. And it feels amazing on the hair, smells amazing. And I told her, I said, do you remember when you picked up a case? I said, the fact that I have a big box, it's a case. It's a big box. Your case was 12 of these, much smaller little box. I said, still a case. You still took a full case. So we kind of went back and forth with it. And she said, because I told her, I said, are you almost finished with them? And she says, no, I have a few. She says, how are you on supply? Because I had purchased a few. And I told her, I said, I'm working on my last one. And so when we got to her house, she handed me four of them. So now I have four. One of these is going into the 700 subscriber giveaway so that you all can smell it smells like I said amazing amazing scent that is my Dollar Tree haul up to and including my case of makeup bags that I am pretty sure are not going to be around for too much longer give me a month they'll be gone so that is it which one of all of these items do you like the best I can't decide so I'm not going to choose any one given thing maybe the mascara I want to see how that purple mascara works but other than that I had fun shopping my G baby and my daughter-in-law were with me that day it was fun a lot of fun and not opposed to getting a case of anything at the Dollar Tree it turned out to be less than $15 pretty good deal if you ask me for 12 makeup bags not a bad deal a dollar 25 a piece and some of y'all will get to see some of those bags in your giveaways thank you all for joining me i greatly appreciate it and i will see y'all in the next video until then stay safe stay blessed smile always bye